Hey, welcome back to another NetCast. I'm Rich Lopez, Quantrix Authority. I sincerely appreciate you joining me today for episode number 286, where I'm going to show you how to aggregate from month by year to year only. I absolutely love Quantrix. I think it's a powerful tool, and I wanted to show you a trick that I had to employ just this week. Maybe it's because I'm having a brain cramp and I can't figure out how to do it another way. So if you can figure out a better way on how to solve this problem, please let me know. But I'm certainly using a secret function within Quantrix to make this happen. And I like to think there's an easier way. So if uh, you find an easier way to do what I'm about to do, then please let me know and I'll feature you on the podcast. How about that? Or I'll feature your solution on the podcast. I have here a matrix that has uh, expenses by accounts, by department, for months and for years. And I want to create an aggregate of that, and I want to bring it in by a certain account. And these accounts are not the same list, but they do have items within each other that are the same. So I want to, so I can't link, I can't drag these categories and have them linked is what I'm saying, because they are different lists. But I want to bring in a summary by account, also by department. The departments are linked, and the year is also linked. But there is no month in this matrix. So initially, my thought is, well, this is a very basic sum select statement. So I'm going to say metrics.value is equal to, if I can find my equals key, equals sum select. What do I want to return? I want to return the value found up here. Click on that. I don't know why it gave me that long convoluted string, but I'll just say I want to bring back the value. And my key list is I want to look up my departments as found here. And I want to look up any department that is here in this list here. So if I do a sum select there, I'm thinking that that should work because my years are linked. But indeed, I get a pound size error. So I go ahead and I open up my dependency inspector and I start to hover. And you can see here that I have 1,488 items in my value list. And in my key list, I only have 124 items in my key list. So I either need to shrink my value list, which I don't want to because I want to capture each one of the months. And so what I need to do is I need to expand my key list, okay? And what's happening is my value list is looking at each of these, each of these values by month uh, across the departments, okay? So if I were to take the 12 months and multiply it by the number of values that are, in, the number of accounts that are within this category, I would get the 1,488 that I'm seeing here as I hover in my value list as a count. And what's happening here is it's, the key list is only considering the accounts. So I need to get it to also consider that it needs to go across all the months. So in order to make that happen, I go and I type in month here. But you can see that I get nothing as my value, and I should be getting back some, some values. Well, if I hover again, I can see that indeed, now I have 1,488 items in my key list. But what's happening is it's go ahead and it's giving the month as a prefix to each one of, my, each one of the accounts within this uh, category here. So how do, you, how do we... <clears throat> How do we solve this problem? What I discovered is that, uh, yes, this is my key list here, but my lookup value is only at the account level. So I need to associate each month at, uh, at the account level in my key list or in my lookup value. I'm trying to keep all these value list, key list, lookup value straight, so please bear with me. So my lookup value is only for a specific account, but my key list has the month in it now. So how can I go ahead and get month to come into my lookup value, especially when month is not part of, not part of this matrix? Well, what I'm do, going to do is I'm going to force it, and I'm going to say, okay, I want to also bring in my month from here. 
And I want to create a concatenated key by doing that, which is just using this colon here. So if I go ahead and I do that, you can see that I get a value, but that seems a little bit low as far as an aggregate for 2020. It's actually bringing back the first one of the first uh, for the first month. So if I click on this, I can see I can look at my concatenated value of, of for my lookup value, and I can see that indeed it's concatenating the first month and the uh, correct account number. So that's the way Quantrix works is when I'm using this at month operator here, it goes ahead and just brings back the first month, okay? And what I want it to do is I want it to bring back every one of the months in my key list, not just the first month. So what I need to do is I need to force Quantrix to make this a list. And so I use this undocumented function, secret function, if you will, formulate, it's called force list, sorry, force. And what it does is it forces that expression to become a list. And when I do that, then indeed my key list now has a concatenated, has concatenated to it each of the months across each of the accounts in this category. And I therefore have this concatenated lookup value list. And so if I were to go ahead and sum these values, I would see 9215, and indeed that is what I'm seeing for 2020. And if I were to do that for 2019, I would expect to see 5219, and that is what I'm seeing. So I'm using this force list with this concatenated key in order to get an aggregate by, by year. If uh, you have a better way of doing that, I realize you could probably do this via data import. Maybe, maybe. Uh, yeah, I guess there's probably a way I could do this using data import. But if there's a different way that you can think of how to do this using a formula, I would love to hear it. I'd love to see your solution. And I'll try to feature you that solution on a podcast here. And if you have any questions about Quantrix, I really do hope that you'll reach out to me at quantrixauthority at gmail.com. Because I love Quantrix and I want to make you a Quantrix master. So please join me again for another episode of Quantrix Authority with Rich Lopez.